Today I'm in Moses Lake, and what you're looking at isn't a football field or golf course, but it's likely going to be. I'm talking with Nathan Cox, turf grass farmer. The climate here is pretty much ideal for blue ryegrass, bent grass, fescues, and we got water. Chances are, if you're a sports fan, you've seen Nathan's turf grass. He supplies it to some of the largest athletic venues in Washington and beyond. Is there a sense of pride for you when you're maybe at these events, seeing your turf? Obviously, there's there's a little bit of pride. It's it's more scary for me because I'm looking at Leonardo Messi, who makes eighty million dollars a year, going, "I hope he doesn't sprain a knee and say it's my turf." <laughs> you know, what I mean, that's always running through the back of my mind. My uh, grandpa was a farmer, and he had five boys. They all were farmers. My dad was a farmer. I started off in irrigation, started growing grass seed, and I loved everything about it except swathing it at night getting eaten by mosquitoes. So that was about, you know, 15 years ago. I just kind of took off from that. So tell me about the grass that we're standing on now. So this is our ready play grass. So we plant it in the fall and then we grow it up. We start mowing it right away at 5 8 14, 16 months kind of ideal. Where do you get the seed for your turf? So most all of our bluegrass seeds come from Washington and just right down the road. So you know the guys that are producing it. So, you know, that seed looks really nice, it's clean. What would be some advice for people who are going to see this and then they're, they're going to look at their own lawns and go, what do I do? The best way to take care of a good yard is your irrigation system, number one. You need to have good soils underneath of it. The next best thing that I can tell people to keep a good yard is mower blades being sharp. How often do you mow it? We're mowing it usually every other day. It takes a special harvester to harvest turf grass. Basically the way it's set is it's got a roller on the front of it. It's got a blade that's adjustable and everything's ran by computer in there and you can set up how you want your pallet stack. Next, we visit the field where they grow special grass for putting greens. Where's our putter? Yeah, <laughs> should have brought it. If you look real close, this is the original grow-in. We start top dressing it pretty regular, and so this has been that built means up. putting sand. Putting sand, on yeah, top. so that the water goes through it still, so when the customer gets it, firmness will be there, so the golf ball will bounce the right okay. way on it. Putting greens have a special harvester as well. It's just a cutting blade, two units, they're independent. They're both floating heads, so you get an even cut, hit that first conveyor, it hits the second conveyor and there's netting around the pipe so as soon as it hits it, it's all done by speeds of two conveyors. And once it gets to the length, they cut it off and we load up on a truck. Yeah. Today Nathan is installing a putting green near his house as a demonstration for customers. It's all hands on deck, including me. And you're just going to keep wadding that up into your hand. Okay. I kept getting stuck on my button. Oh, yeah. <laughs> so I had just one last question for Nathan. There is no dog poop out here, or dandelions. <laughs> yeah. Dandelions are everywhere, so yeah. you have to spray. <laughs> I've seen them out here, I promise you. And I've seen dog poop out here too. <laughs>